Okay, hello everybody. It's, whoops, trying to get centered here. Uh, center my world. Okay, I'm looking in this little camera thing. So I'm doing it on my phone. I know. I know. It's very vintage, isn't it? <laughs> I'm on my phone because uh, I just want to try a vlog on my phone. Um, so this is me, the ISFP, and I'm going to talk about ISFP as adventure types. Now, the funny thing is, everybody knows that the ISFP is the artist, you know, but another label we get is the adventure type. Now, this is just a label, remember, but um, I really think it's very interesting because I do consider myself very, well, very adventurous. Now, I try to say, oh, I look at life as an adventure, but sometimes I don't. Uh, sometimes it's just really, you know, I get very depressed and even suicidal. But I really think of life as an adventure. Um, well, no, I don't think it's life as an adventure. I'm a very adventurous person, let's put it that way. So the funny thing is, I do, I, well, for example, I love to travel. So for example, uh, right now I feel inspired to go to St. Augustine, Florida. I don't know why. Maybe the Lord put it on my heart to go down to St. Augustine, Florida. Of course, that's where the wonderful Ron DeSantis is, you know, governor of Florida. Uh, but, I wanted to go down there and sing for the art walk. They have the beautiful, oh, it's so beautiful, St. Augustine, Florida. I want to go down there and see the Ponce de Leon, and I want to sing in the town square where they have the art walk, which I think will be the perfect backdrop for my music. I just, I can picture myself playing and singing Alcohol is Poison and Sweet Tea, and the backdrop of the beautiful, you know, thoroughfares they have. It's like a little Spanish town, like a little conquistador town, conquistador. And by the way, I do have some Spanish ancestors. My fourth great grandparents were from Barcelona, Spain, Catalan, Catalan, or whatever it's called. Uh, but anyway, folks, uh, I just want to go down to St. Augustine, Florida. Now, sometimes I want to go somewhere else, and I don't know why this happens. Now, this is a very random thing, but I think it has to do with where I am internally. So sometimes I'm like, okay. Um, where do I want to go where I can be inspired? I need to be inspired. I need to get away. <laughs> now here I'm stuck in Richmond where I'm just, you know, everything's just the dystopia right now. But beautiful, beautiful St. Augustine, Florida uh, is waiting for me, but I don't know if I can afford the trip, y'all. So pray for, pray for me that way. But here's the problem. So I look forward to these trips. Like I took a trip down to Charleston, uh, about a six hour drive for me, not too far. And I played at a farmer's market, but I only got paid about a hundred dollars. <laughs> so I don't really make a lot of money on these trips. And the problem is the day comes that I have to go. And that's the problem. It's like, oh, I actually have to leave my house. I have to get in the car and drive to my destination because I have all this thing, you know, magically installed in my mind. Like, oh, it's going to be a big, a big wonderful thing so I actually have to leave the house <laughs> and go that's my introverted part uh, but I watch videos about the place and I, I can imagine myself the place that's why I love singing at Colonial Williamsburg now that's not too far from me but I love Colonial Williamsburg because the backdrop of Colonial Williamsburg when I was singing was just so inspiring to me but that's true I am an adventure I really take risks in life I have to manifest it in the real world now if I were an INFP I'd just be stuck in my head all the time oh my wonderful brilliant idea <laughs> but no I have to go out and push it into the world and manifest it in the world because otherwise it just sits there in my head I'm a very realistic person that way uh, but that's the weird part about the ISFP is we are weirdly very realistic and down to earth, but very fantasy oriented. So it's like you combine the two and it's a conglomeration of the two. And sometimes they conflict. Sometimes I'm in my fantasy world and then times I'm in my reality world <laughs> over there. Uh, so I just think like that's just part of the philosophy. But anyway, did I say I love adventure? So yeah, this, I love planning trips. Uh, well, not really planning, but I kind of like fantasizing about trips and, I, and that's the thing I don't have a definite plan I say okay I'm gonna drive down there and when the mood strikes me I might visit some I like to soak up the local flavor I gotta soak up that local at uh, the vibe I hate it when things are the same when I go to different places I want each place to have its own unique atmosphere 
So St. Augustine, Florida is my next, next trip. And I was supposed to go out to Memphis to sing with band. We were going to sing at Graceland. At Graceland, they have a stage for bands. And our bass player knows someone down there who's going to get us out to Memphis and sing at Graceland. But then we had that pandemic and everything got put on hold. That's why I keep saying, I, I tell everybody, hey, I was supposed to sing at Graceland. That's not a lie. It's true. I was supposed to sing out at Graceland with a band. We were gonna we were gonna stop in Silver Dollar City. We were gonna play in the Ozarks. We were gonna do Branson. You know, these are all things that really were gonna happen in that silly you know pandemic ruined it all. And also some of the band members got sick. And because um, you know I'm the youngest band member by 20 years or more, so I'm kind of the junior of the group. Uh, but anyway, folks, so that didn't work out. But maybe another time. You know, it's all all about timing. The Lord has timing for everything. So I hope the Lord will get me down to St. Augustine, Florida um, soon. Um, and it's just a beautiful place. It's sort of like the Floridian version of Colonial Williamsburg. It's, it's their Colonial Williamsburg is what it is. Um, I'm very excited about our new governor. He is a Republican conservative, thank the Lord. Um, but you just don't know what you're going to get. Um, that's another subject for another time, ISFP and politics. But anyway, I just want to share that with everybody. Uh, the ISFP, the adventure type. Yes, I love adventure. I always have. I've always been a pioneer. You know, I've always tried to put myself out there. I get criticized for it. Oh, believe you me, I get criticized for everything. Oh, you failed at music. Oh, you failed at this. Oh, you failed at that. That's what people love to tell me. But I don't care. See, for me, it's not so much... The, uh, it's not so much the destination, it's the journey. It's the journey. That's exactly what the Bible teaches us is that, hey, 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 it's the journey. It's the journey. And it's not just the destination. So every day is a walk of faith and it's just so exciting to get to go to places. I really love going to places. Um, and I just, I can't stress enough how much, you know, uh, but again, like there's a place in Charleston, like I ended up having to switch hotel rooms and I actually lost money because I put a deposit in and they wouldn't give me a refund. But there's a place in Charleston where they have this huge bridge. It's called the Ravenel Bridge or something like that. You Charlestonians probably know what it is. And I had to go over this huge bridge, probably filled with, uh, you know, all kinds of things below uh, to get across to the city. Now, I know everybody says, oh, okay, I'm not a snowbird. I'm from Virginia, but I know that alligators are in, we have alligators in Virginia and as far north as Virginia. And in South Carolina, I will guarantee you that there are alligators in the Cooper River. I wouldn't be surprised. Now, I say, oh, that's something a northerner would say. No, it's something with common sense would say there are alligators in that Cooper River and you're going over that big Ravenel Bridge. What if the bridge collapses and then your your car is in the river with all those alligators? What are you going to do? So that's why I was so afraid uh, to go across the Ravenel Bridge. So I have to change hotel rooms five or six times. So I'm terrible with planning stuff. I cannot make up my mind, you know, where I'm going to stay. Now, sometimes I look at a hotel room and then I find out it's in the wrong neighborhood. I have to switch a room. <laughs> but uh, that's how it works, folks. I am a dreamer. I am a dreamer. I am a adventurer. I'm a, uh, right now I'm doing several projects. I'm working on a song that you know, someone wanted me to record a song and I'm trying to sing. I'm trying to do it my you know, very professional. And then I'm working on aquascapes, which are like little fish tanks and you put different things in them and make them beautiful. Um, and of course, I'm taking care of my birds. And I just want to give, you know, I want to leave a little something when I leave this world. I think I have left some pretty good songs. You know, hipsters ruin everything. Alcohol is poison. Sweet tea. I think those are going to be long lasting hits um, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, it's just, you know, it's just a matter of time for, you know, one day maybe I'll be like a Vincent Van Gogh, you know, I'll be discovered after I'm dead, <laughs> but then I'll be in heaven with Jesus and I won't care. Uh, so anyway, folks, that's just what I want to share my, my passion, my dream. And so if you're not familiar with me, I am a singer songwriter. I'm a musician and an actor. So check out my website at meetskeletonsplace.com. And remember folks, say a prayer for someone special today. Bye.